Hello everybody and welcome to my first episode. I almost said welcome back because I'm used to saying that, but now we're not saying welcome back. So, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited by only Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart on this adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. Um, I have I played Explorers of Time or Explorers of Darkness? I have. It's been like a long time though, so I'm gonna answer no. Your friend made a meal and that tastes terrible. They ask, how is he? And you say, uh, just smile. You've been invited to a wonderful party. It's a time uh, for the party starts, but there's nobody there. You think... Did something happen? Do you think it's important to always aim to be the best? I want to be the very best, like no one ever was, obviously. Do you make... Um, no, I don't do that. I make, like, new week resolutions, which are like, This week I'm actually going to do stuff, and then I end up playing video games. Happens an awful lot, you would be surprised. Do you think it's important to be uh, fashionably late? Um, no, I actually don't think it's important. You discover beating up looking treasure chests and some ruins, what'd you do? Um, get help opening it, and that way if I die, we'd all die. You see a switch. You feel overwhelming urge to flip it. Yes, no. Those are not good answers, I must admit. Um, <laughs> it should be flip the switch or leave it alone, but why not? Yes, you want to be famous? Not particularly, but I would, I, I'd take it. I'd probably rather take the money than the fame, honestly. Male. I'm a male. I, I'm a, I'm a boy. Relax, calm yourself. Now press your fingertip gently on the bow. That's right. Stay perfectly still. Take a deep breath. Now exhale. Your aura has been identified. Lift your finger from the touchscreen. Your aura is... I'm so... Fiery red, yay. I already knew this because I... I should actually mention, I've done this before, but my audio didn't record and I was a uh, Pikachu, which was kind of funny because obviously I was a Pikachu in uh, Blue Rescue Team. And then I recorded like two times more and I got a Pokemon which doesn't work with what I want to do. And I'll get into that in a moment when I'm actually... Um, uh, my in the game. Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the lonely type, at least a little. Wow. You might find it surprising, but you think this might be a little true? Not quite, no. Maybe. But... I'm so lonely. No, okay. Uh, so, y though uh, we're all a bit lonely every now and then, you probably keep act um, life to yourself, though. I mean, I like playing video games, don't judge me. Oh, I'll, I'll be a Bulbasaur. And finally, who will be your partner? Finally, I can take... Uh, Bob. So, I became a, a Piplop. I became a... Uh, Squirtle, I think. And when you are the water type starter of a generation, you can't pick another water type starter to accompany you. And I must admit, I would prefer to take Cyndaquil here because he gets Smokescreen, or be Cyndaquil because he gets Smokescreen. Uh, but obviously, I am I, a Bulbasaur, and I have to take Bob as my partner. That's that's obvious, isn't it? So there's nothing much I can do about it. If I were to be a uh, Bob himself, I could have t picked a Cyndaquil, but obviously I'm not. So we're gonna have a big, big problem <laughs> because if nobody can smoke screen shit. Boss battles are going to be very difficult. Then again, I can probably leech seeds. Yeah, I'll find a way. Maybe I can actually recruit a fire type Pokemon and teach it uh, smokescreen. Is the name Bob okay? Okay, that is it. You are ready to go. Over in the world of the Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Only issue is, your partner Pokemon has a lot of dialogue in this game. 
chapter one, Storm Sea. And Bob has a kind of annoying voice. I'm going to change his voice up in this series uh, in comparison to Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. And what? What? Oh, are you okay? No, don't let go. Just, just a little longer. Come on. No, I can't. I can't. Hold on. Wow. All emotion just gone. It sure is stormy outside. Wow. That's a really nice um, effect, actually. Uh, where... Where am I? I can't... Drifting off. Mm. I'm gonna have to look for his voice, so it's gonna change over the first couple episodes. No. I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. No more women out. I have to be brave today. Yeah, that's not gonna work out too well. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Who's footprint? Who's footprint? If it brings us, it does. If it brings us, it does. Oh, what? Uh, did, did that shock me? Hey. I can't. I can't push myself to go in half through. I said to myself that this is the day, but... I thought that holding my personal treasure would inspire me. But I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. This is a little bit better on my voice than the actual voice, and I think it's pretty damn close to the first actual voice, so... Oh, boy, Zuba. Did you get a load of that? I bet, I bet I did coughing here. <laughs> oh, little wind was pacing around. That's something good, right? Now, little wind was something, that's for sure. Looked like some kind of treasure. Uh, do we go after it? We do. Wow, that was my ankle. Feels nice actually now that it's like... Yeah. It's a bit loose now. Krabbies. Krabbies everywhere. Ah, bubbles! It bubbles! Wow, what an impressive sight! You live here, right? You've surely seen this more often. When the weather's uh, uh, good out, Krabby uh, come uh, sundown and blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the sunset's rays of the waves. It's always impressive. This is where I always end up when I'm feeling sorry for myself. But always make me feel good here, like always. Coming here cheers me up. Huh? Hey, oh, what's that? What's going on over there? What? Oh, someone's collapsed on the sand. What's happened? I are you okay? Uh. Great. You're awake. Where... Where am I? You weren't moving. You really had me worried there. How did you win, uh, uh, wind up unconscious out here? I was... I was unconscious? What happened? Anyway, I'm Bob. Glad to meet you. So, who might you be? I don't think I've seen your face around here before. Huh? Y y you're a human? Bob, you've had this shit happen to you before. You probably know what's up. Oh, uh, maybe this is Bob Jr. actually, because Bob evolved into a Feradicator. It looked totally, uh, fine, like a Bulbasaur to me. It's true! I turned it into a Bulbasaur! But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're... a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? No, no, no! 
You're telling me the truth. Okay, then, what is your name? What do you call yourself? My name? That's right, my name is... I don't want to go with Vlogger because obviously Vlogger is a Pikachu. Um, and seeing as how we have Bob, we have got some kind of like thing going on there. So I don't want to call myself Vlogger for once. Um, good question. I'm going to go ahead and look up name on the internet. Because that's why you go for names. If you are looking to get the Pokemon name, so um, yeah, I'll be doing that. So the name this Bulbasaur is going to have will be Michael, which is um just a l l nice little name, I suppose. But it's also a reference or more a tribute to Hardy Takiyo because I think his real life name is Michael. Could be wrong there. But yeah, it's a nice little tribute to uh, to him, obviously, because he did a let's play of this game, and I watched that. So I know what's going to come up. I don't remember anything about uh, the early game anymore. And by the time we get to the late game and the post game, I probably will have forgotten a lot about that as well. Major plot points I'm obviously not going to forget. But um, yeah, that's my name now, Michael. Oh, Michael is your name. Okay. Well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon, at least. Sorry, I doubted you. More and more about Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. A lot of Pokemon have started being aggressive lately. Things have gotten wildly, ah, uh, for some reason. Ow! Well, I don't bang you, Gordon. Hey, why did you do that? <laughs> you can't figure it out. We want to mess with you, you can uh, face up to us, can you? <laughs> oh, a lot. That's yours, isn't it? Hey, that's... Sure, get it, we'll take that. Hi! Oh, I'm not gonna make move uh, to get that back. What's the matter? Are you too scared? I didn't expect you'd be such a big coward. Come on, I get out of here. See you around, chicken. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What? What should I do? My brother's not treasure. It means everything to me. Never ever lose that. No, there's, there's no time to waste. I have to get it back. Well, will you... Uh, will you help me? Oh, why not? Really? You, you really help? Thank you, Let, let's go quickly. So what I wanted to talk about is... Uh, obviously the first time uh, my audio didn't... Re also, why is the map on the bottom screen? Why did I... It should have asked, do you, have you ever played a mystery dungeon game before, rather than have you played Explorers of Time and Darkness? Because I probably could have skipped this uh, tutorial bullshit. Well, it's only going to be in a couple uh, dungeons at least. Uh, let's actually go to window. I know I don't want window options, bottom screen. Uh, top screen is going to be my map and team. And that's going to be... I don't want to map on the screen whatsoever. Um, I'm probably going to be right back when I find um, a map. Oh, no, no. Options, bottom screen, no map. Yeah, good. So originally I was a Pikachu, but my audio didn't record. So I figured I may as well re-record it and see if I'm going to be a Pikachu again. And then I got a uh, Squirtle and I think Piplup. I think those were the two I got as my Pokemon. And obviously you can't take Bob, which is a total doubt. Well, obviously, I say obviously. I don't know if that is obvious. <laughs> but you can't take a water type starter if you are a water type starter. Which is good, I suppose. Otherwise, I would have two water starters and then a grass or an electric dungeon. I would be absolutely annihilated. And now I don't have any fire type Pokemon, so I'm going to have a big, uh, big problem. Uh, later on into the game when boss fights come around, but we'll we'll figure that out when that is uh, actually relevant. Oh, I obviously only uh, have a one item inventory because I'm not on a rescue team yet. But yeah, so that's an issue. And now I'm a Bulbasaur and my partner is Bob, which I suppose this is nice. And I obviously Bob is my thing now. Uh, he's my 
Mask Orb together with a uh, alligator. I am the uh, well, but the alligator is also bomb, isn't it? I just didn't have room for Croconaw to fit in there, but yeah, that evolutionary lines kind of become my mascot at this point. And Bulbasaur, it's not a bad Pokemon, so I suppose I, I should be happy. Beach Pave uh, Cave Pit, and we're, ooh, we're almost at the end of the episode. Hmm? Hi, hey. Oh well, well. If it isn't your old friend, you big chicken. Also, you. You just changed voices. <laughs> give me, give me back what you stole from me. That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. Treasure, right, you say? So that's a really funny thing, huh? Could be worth more than we know for, I say. I almost tried selling. Who knows? You may get a good price. <laughs> or more reason not to give it back. What? You want the back bad that badly? Come and get it. And the first boss fight of the game is right here. So let's see, we have Tackle and Growl. So if we go to the middle here, we will be able to attack this thing as Crash. Ah, that didn't do nearly as much as I'd like it to. Also, don't both attack me. That's really a bad idea on your... Well, it's a good idea on your part. I don't like it there. I really don't like it one bit. Will you please stop attacking me? I would really appreciate it if I could live this fight. Oh. You're already dead, both of you. And Bob didn't take a single HP damage. Now, we got roughed up. And we got, we got roughed up, eh? Blast it. I will get wiped out by uh, worms like that. There's the third voice he has. I can't decide on a voice for him. Blah! Here you go, take it out. Oh, don't think you're so awesome. Now, victory is a fluke. <laughs> yeah, just remember that. It's my relic fragment. I'm, I'm ever glad. Actually, managed to get it back. It's because you were here to help me, Michael. Thanks, Michael. I'm gonna have to get used to saying Michael. Really, thank you. I only helped you because um, that's what happened to be there. It's the right thing to do. I guess so. The Pokemon uh, is really grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Yeah, here's what they stole. This is the Relic Fragment. Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this Relic Fragment, it's my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I've always uh, get so excited when I hear tales of the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves of treasure all around strange relics. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness. And new lands waiting to be discovered. Such a place must be full of gold and treasures. And ways to hurt your throat with his voice and history. Wouldn't it be amazing to make uh, historic discoveries. I've always had a dream about that. It's all exciting to me. But one day, I happened to find something. My relic fragment. Sure, it looks like just like junk. Maybe because it is. But take a closer look. See? A strange pattern is inscribed on it. It's true, there's a strange pattern inscribed on it. I've never seen a pattern like this. This pattern... You know what, actually, my Bulbasaur voice doesn't sound like Bulbasaur, but my Bulbasaur voice will sound like Bob as well, and Bob sounds like Bob... Uh, I mean, for a total dark voice, I should actually more do like a Donald Duck, but that wouldn't be understandable, and I would hurt my throat even more. So I'm gonna keep with this. And I may actually... I'm going to play around a little bit with his voice in the first couple of episodes, because, honestly, there's nothing... Um, Nothing wrong with this voice, other than it hurts my throat. And it's kind of a third value for it. Well, let's just go on. This pattern must have some meaning to it, I'm sure of it. Relic fragment must be a key to legendary places, to areas where uh, precious uh, treasures lie. Stuff, I didn't read that. At least that's a feeling I get. That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something, somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of the Relic Fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as a... Uh, blah, 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 blah. But I chickened out. Sorry about... What about you, Michael? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory and somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere to get... Do you have anywhere to go... Yeah, that's better. Do you have anywhere to go uh, after this? If not, can I ask you a big favor? Would you like to join me and an exploration team? 
I think uh, you and I would make a good, uh, a good, a good exploration team. I just invented a new word. Good and great combined is good, Michael. So how about it? Come on, please. What, 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 what should I do? Getting a recruited uh, out of the blue? I don't know what an expl exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon for exploration team? Yeah, why not? It's true. I have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt teaming up with Bob for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am and what uh, by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. Yeah? Really? You'll form an exploration team with me? Oh, thanks! You're going to make a great combination, you and I. Let's make this work. First, let's go to Weekly Devs Guild and uh, sign up as apprentices. Then we can train more and become a proper exploration team. I think the training will be really tough. Let's give it our best, Michael. That's gonna be his new voice, a little bit less raspy. And so, Bob and Michael formed an exploration team and my phone is buzzing. This turned out to be the very first step into many fantastic realms of adventures that awaited their arrival. The Pokemon Company Stuff presents Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Oh, it's an email actually. It's an email somebody liked in a video I uploaded. Would you like to save your adventure? Okay. Um, I would, and thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky and Let's Play. Next episode, we will be back going on with our adventure as Bob and Michael. Will we maybe at some point get to see Vlogger again? I sound like a reality show now. Until the next time, do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, which you probably did because it's almost half an hour long at this point. I've been Vlogger, you have been awesome as usual. Bye.